Look, Raven, I found a great cordage plant. Should you ever need to tie something up out in the woods? Um, this plant is called dogbane hemp. Some people call it Indian hemp because the Native Americans actually use this plant to make cordage. When I say cordage, I'm really talking string, rope, any kind of good binding material. Um, sometimes we're used in baskets as well. So this plant is often confused as a milkweed, but it is not. You see this milky white latex there, it makes people think it's a milkweed. It grows, its leaves look a lot like milkweed, but it's got some subtle differences. More, one of the big differences is how it starts branching. But the main thing is I wanted you to recognize it as a potential cordage plant because you never know if you're stranded in the woods and need to tie up a shelter or something like that. I have a, I have a piece of last year's stalk right here. And you can see the strength of this material. Let me, I can just pull it off. And you can see that it has a lot of what you call tensile strength. And tensile strength is what you want if you're making rope or cordage. And I'm just gonna do a quick twist, not a formal rope making twist, but you will be able to see how strong it is. Very, very strong. You want to tug on it? So, I don't know. I like plants because they're so full of stories. They're also, those stories are often about relationships. And for me, the important relationship here is this plant's use by indigenous people. I would say that there are probably indigenous people who still use this plant. I would not recommend handling it too much in this growing stage because it does have a cardiac black aside, which affects the heart. So you don't, would not want to um, handle it a whole lot because a lot of uh, these kind of substances can get into your bloodstream by handling it. And you certainly wouldn't want to eat it thinking that was milkweed. And milkweed in certain conditions can be eaten, although I tend to believe it's saving it all for the monarchs.